And, uh, and we started seeing right away, very early on, we started seeing that the mice just seemed to look better. They seemed healthier, and I don't know how to exactly how to quantify that, except for that it's something that all of us in the lab seem to notice right away. You have a you have a picture in the paper, and you know it doesn't take a trained expert to see that there's a difference here. Like you know, yeah. the fur is shinier, general anatomy and structure, their gait, their their fur healthiness. Like yeah, these mice definitely look different. Things like like you said, like shiny hair, and you can see the old mice have much kind of scruffier looking hair. The whole lab didn't also observe these things like shinier hair and sort of less scruffiness of the hair. You can see, hey, we'll look, this mouse that had a bald spot has grown back its hair and this mouse that had white hair. Yeah. White it's, not, hair. it's almost, it's not just like they uh, didn't look as haggard in the end. You, you started with old mice and in right. the psilocybin group, some of them already had patchy and mangy yes. fur and it actually improves over the course of like 10 months. That's the craziest part is not only did they look better than the vehicle mice, but they looked better than they looked at the start of the experiment. So right. younger than when they started at the end of this experiment 10 months later. So when uh, when 50% of the control mice had died, only uh, 80% of the psilocybin mice were still alive. So uh, So there was a significant improvement in survival 